all this paperwork on there like that separately so that that's one lot of paperwork and then we've got to get the dedications that have thus far arrived how on earth do you remember which which and where to go next I don't <laughs> as a general rule. Uh, that's all the records and these are all the CDs and they will be in the order almost certainly in which we pick them up. Uh, have, you, have you got the running order? Yes. Just lend it me a minute will you? I want to see which way up these things are going. It should be ours first. What's the, fir uh, the first of these? I mean Ricky Nelson yeah, so it's that way right. Um, there is for, put that with either before 489 or after 489. Yeah, well, yeah. And then we can play. Because it. it's on there. It's side two something. Right. Uh, we'll put it first because I want to go fast first and then slow. Uh, on that basis, we shan't be playing Don Lang. Right, so. But then we've got to change the Presley because we should have gone slow with Conway Twitty. So we actually now ought to have a fast Presley. Let's. Try for all shook up. All shook up Elvis Presley, right? I'll go and find that. All if that is... Yeah. Oh, that should be here, all shook up. Yeah. Right, which doctor is out? Yeah, take which doctor out. And what are we playing there? Uh, well, we, we're going to play... Um, I mean, I'll start with... Um, uh, first of all, I shall play... You yeah. see, the whole sh shooting match there is going to be changed because I'm going to play... I shall come out of... Uh, what's the I'm going to knock on your I'm door. I'm going to knock out... I shall go come out of that into um, Mona I shall, Lisa. I shall do a sort of a Tuckney Aitken tribute to Twitter with Mona Lisa, and then it's only make believe. So I want another fast Mona Lisa, Lisa. and then another fast Presley. So, uh, but, but, yeah. So you do it, Mona Lisa, Conway yeah. Twitty, yeah. and the other. It's yeah. only make believe, That's Conway right. Twitty. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's. Now those are those papers you told me not to touch. <laughs> I can hear that giggle in the corner. It's only oh, you're still there, are you? Maybe. Now this is the pe This is the thing that happens when anybody tells me they've stopped smoking. Yes. Well, you played it for Joyce. Yes. March twenty second. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. I still haven't smoked. So Good. Haven't. That's the way. And this is uh, my friend's hinge and bracket. Oh yeah. Have you got the needles there? Yes, I've put a new one in there. Oh, splendid. Mind her then. <laughs> Brick yourself on us. Oh, yeah, well, I have <laughs> sleep for a hundred years. And <laughs> oh, then who would you find to wake you up? Right. Uh, now, all right. Uh, now so you should have been here. Have you also yes, myself? They have done before. Yeah. And you've got well, a little bit in the middle, right? Yes. yes. Richard, yes. Richard. Yes. Now, there we are. Richard. Here we go, then. You should have been here to have your photograph took, did you know? Was it last Friday? Yeah. Well, I didn't know, did I? <laughs> uh, I didn't know about it, so you can't. You didn't arrive early enough. Well, that's good <laughs> enough <laughs> reason. Oh, but yeah. it was. It was. You know, I mean, I haven't collected the mail. I don't come in every day and collect the mail. Um, oh, you want that, don't you? Let me just have a look. See if there's anything else. There. Uh, there's the other one. That you might hear from time to time. He's so full of fun. I mean, if I'd married, he's the sort of son I would have liked. Mm. You know. <laughs> There we are, if you pull those over there. Here's Richard Spendlove. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. All done like that. Um, where's that order running order? I can't remember what we're playing for. Uh, while if that mic's open, you'll hear nothing except me. I see. Yeah. Because it cuts everything else out. Mm -hmm. right. After 489. Yeah. Uh, and the most I do, I sometimes move from time to time, I might moved perhaps there. Yeah, um, I can get all that in with a scope through there. You see, I can get... Pectocles. Um, oh, I know, we're starting with uh, at the hop. Do, 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 do. So on the basis of that, we can get that on the... Um, do we are. Yeah. Um. 
You just turned that back by hand, did you? Yeah. 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 And then you move it back from 33 to there, like that. And then when I start it, it will yeah. come on the right time. I can't remember oh, the second one. Mm. So I can't do any more. Then where, where is it you press when you say, oh, I'll press those, the, hand you back to my ladies at the evening because they there. want to photograph and all the rest of it. Oh, I see. There. There. Oh. there. All there. Uh, it's fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How on earth did you come to get into it, Richard, in the first place? Into what? Broadcasting? Into broadcasting. By accident. My boy wanted to broadcast. Yes. I had a friend who worked here, a very good friend to whom I owe uh, any broadcasting knowledge I might have. Yes. And goodness knows that's limited. Um, uh, and uh, he, my boy wanted to, he came home one day and said, I want to work on the radio. Do you know anybody? And I said, yes. And I came in, to, I rang my mate and he said, well, bring him in on Saturday morning. He can have a go on my programme. Mm. So the first thing he did with my boy, and I'm rather pleased with this actually, he sent him straight out and he immediately, the first time he'd ever done anything at all, he went out on an outside broadcast and interviewed an air marshal, which Ooh, I thought was incredibly heavens. good. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I'd only come in to drive him in on the phone, on, on the, on the, in the car. Yeah. And um, uh, to cut ever such a long story short, he stayed um, about three months and I stayed <laughs> nine years. I think, nine years. I, I only came in to run him in. Yeah. Um, to get into it, so it never occurred to me. Good but, um, uh, the the thing is that uh, you know, I mean, one thing led to another. Then there was the I, I was um, when I decided to. I did a couple of documentaries. I, I used to like documentaries, and, and uh, I did a couple of documentaries which seemed to go down fairly well. Mm. In that they've used them now two or three times. Yeah. And um, one of them I might add about the abdication. Uh, received a commendation from the Queen Mother. Oh, how lovely. Uh, which is on my bedroom wall. Um, uh, uh, anyway, um, after a while I, uh, it was suggested that maybe I would like to try something else and I did a program called Reflections which was a one-to-one uh, -one interview program uh, with people like Annette Newman uh, and uh, Prisoners of War and um, uh -huh. uh, Titanic Survivor, R101 Disaster Survivor, people like that. Mm, interesting. Uh, half an hour each program, and yeah. they, they went that, that that lasted. That, that was actually a six-week trial. <laughs> I was given a six-week trial with that. I think it was March eight. I've got the date here. I think it was March eighty-eight. No, March eighty-nine. Um, I was given a ten to midnight spot just on Radio Cambridgeshire, uh, and the first night um, I was joined by a, a new. PA, who was Joanne, mm. so we started together. Uh, she was absolutely brilliant with the uh, the listeners, to the extent that she seems to have her own following, and I'm pleased she has. Um, and uh, we started this phoning show, which went from strength to strength. Mm. And then, of course, Tina joined me about a year ago as as the second girl on a Saturday night. Yeah. And now JoJo's moved down to Hartford. Tina does Sunday. Oh, has she? Oh. So, um, but uh, you know, they, they they really are priceless. The girls are, and and uh, uh, quite honestly, my view is that the sh the show without them, the show would lose a lot because they're the first line of communication. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have known. I, I know that Tina has, has has helped several times since in the time that she, since she came here. Uh, and, and Joe indeed also has, they, they have both mm. taken people, and they've been, we've had people on who were obviously um, uh, very depressed and that sort of thing, and there's only so much I can do mm. on the air, mm. Mm. and uh, they will come through and mm. uh, into my headphones and they'll say, pass them back, mm. and we'll deal with it, mm. and they do, and it's mm. quite, it's quite marvellous to have this sort of, uh, yeah. of backing, and, and I would be very particular, and about who sat in those chairs yes. yeah. to the extent that if I didn't decide well, it wouldn't be acceptable. No. no. Well, so, I can understand that. Yeah. But they have been marvellous. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I mean, I can't speak highly enough of them. Yeah. Hello, Sugar. Yeah. Stay up the old independent church. If you are, will you mention it on the night, please? On Saturday night, please? Of course so. I'm going to Haverhill. I'm doing a, uh, I'm speaking to uh, the Royal British Legion at Haverhill next Tuesday night, and I'm speaking to the Royal British Legion at Biggleswade on Wednesday night. Oh, lovely. So it's a busy old job. Ah. Um, yes, I was going to say, on uh, 
on hearing about it on your program I sent for the National Service Medal. It really is a lovely medal, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, very nice yes, indeed. I'm going to have mine court-mounted with it. I've got uh, the Aiden medal. And I'm going to have oh, mine yeah. court-mounted together, because I'm yeah. in Aiden, as you know. Yeah. Um, in 50. Well, I should have gone to shape headquarters in Paris, but some silly devil that was due to go to Sandhurst on the permanent staff went down with measles and I had to go there instead. Oh, yeah. Lost your chance, didn't you? Yeah. I did, yeah. Second record is Connie Francis. Oh, I like her. Robot man. So, we'll pre-fade that and get that ready. And One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've got to... In addition to that, we've got the fling night to advertise again. Oh two, yes, two thirds the of the tickets Center. sold last week. Yeah, two thirds of those tickets yeah, sold. Going last well. Week. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, I'll just ring up and make sure that I don't have their back yet. The, the people who are taking the orders for the ticket. Uh, but two thirds of them went last weekend. That's lovely. There's a 200 out of the uh, 310 or something like that went last weekend. Sure. Probably it's a little bit early yet. I think they'll probably be back in about half an hour. It doesn't look like they're back yet. But their phone will, that'll be ringing all night. It was last oh, week yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, and tonight I'm going to try to get them to talk about if they were. Sometimes they'll talk about things and sometimes they won't. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try to get them <coughs> to talk about. I, I've mentioned that in 1953 Tito was elected president of Yugoslavia. Derek Bentley was hanged for a murder committed by somebody else while Bentley himself was under arrest and in custody. Walt Disney's film Peter Pan was released. Khrushchev became the first secretary of the Communist Party. Dag Hammarskjöld became secretary general of the United Nations. Japan had self-government restored for the first time since the war. Jacqueline Bouvier became engaged to John Kennedy. The Shah of Iran was restored to power. Queen Mary, the old Queen Mother and widow of King George V, died. Everest was conquered. Mm. and Queen Elizabeth II was crowned. And I shall go on to say that now what I would like to hear about tonight are your memories of 1953, and particularly your memories of where and under what circumstances you either saw or heard of the coronation. And if you can't remember that far back, or are sufficient of a senior citizen to remember further back, <laughs> what was your special year and why? And for that matter, anything else you'd like to bring up as well, we'll put it all in the pot. Mm. And that's how we shall kick off something of that order. Lovely. I know where I was. I was in the in the cookhouse at Sandhurst when the coronation was going on. Was it? Yeah. A busy old place there, actually. Yes, it was. Um, but I don't know where you were, dear, but it wasn't long after that we met, wasn't it? Following um, coach loads did you get in today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, brought your wife artificial flowers <laughs> so you haven't got to worry about watering <laughs> or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the silk. Something. The garden looks absolutely beautiful. I've got this fellow from Royston who comes and does it. Yeah. We could do with him. <laughs> absolutely glorious yeah. garden. Can't we? You'll, oh, you, you'll have to come down and look at ours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'd love you too. You're more than welcome any time. Thank you. We've got to start by logging the programme on. Oh. Oh, let's see. Then we've got to sort out what stations are on for the first hour. We have Norfolk. We have Essex. We have Suffolk. We have Kent. And we have Cambridge. side the tracks when they're uh, when they come on because you have to log all the music for the for why the, uh, why is that Richard for the, the um 
copyright or something yeah. or royalties or yeah royalties royalties oh I see um, on it. which just reminds me do we have Tina yeah for ten o'clock that's just lovely that that's lovely. like it dear? oh yeah. absolutely so lovely for the keyboard to do it um, and I intended to play it on a piano I mean I I composed it as I went along there's nothing written down oh. and um, I just sat down and I was going to play it at the piano, the piano and as I went into it, it was on the dining room table and as I went in I tripped over the um, and I put my hand out to steady myself and hit the stops on the top of this keyboard yeah. and this particular combination came, think it was, oh. this combination came up yeah. and I don't know what it was <laughs> so but anyway I struck the first chord and it sounded so nice that I decided to leave it yeah. It's gorgeous, it really is. Did you hear any more from the lady that was going to write some lyrics for that, or you were going to get someone that might have gone, might be going to write lyrics to go with it? Right. It was mentioned at some stage, either by one of the listeners or probably a listener. Well, I think somebody was actually going to put, they were <coughs> going to write it down as a piece of music. Oh, that I don't was it. Everybody saying they were going to do ah. lyrics, but they were going to do it as a piece of yeah. music but I mean I just sat down and played it and this is the result of it there's nothing you play by ear Richard or are yeah, you very yeah. badly uh, um, well I wish I got the gift my brother has he brother. played by ear and I'm absolutely musically you know back <laughs> got a nice voice for singing <laughs> well I did have dear about 20 years ago maybe but it's a I still think it's nice sounds a bit gravelly now I'm afraid Oh, I've got a, a, a Navy Colt revolver here, or oh. a dueling pistol or something like that. Oh. And, uh, I, you know, and, and I'd say, well, how much do you want for it? And he said, oh, I don't know, so whatever much. And I'd say, well, you know, do you want to have a deal? Because I should have something you'd want. And he'd say, oh, yeah, you know, we do that. And, uh, you know, 10 o'clock at night, we should drive to Felixstowe. Oh. Mm. And, uh, I mean, I have been at Felix. I've been in his shop. I've arrived at his shop at sort of half past 11. And we've been still been doing business at quarter to three in the morning, yeah. Yeah. and then driven but home. The things I, th I think the mad things are, are more fun. Oh yeah. I, mean, I used to take the kids caravanning a lot when they were little. Yeah. And all round Catford Forest. Yeah. Now we wanted to see the deer. During the day it was hopeless because yeah. there was people yeah. and their kids screaming, walking yeah. through the dogs barking. Yeah. So we used to go over in the car about midnight. Yeah. Best Let the kids lay up, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, we saw no end, didn't we? That way. Mm, yeah. One particular occasion, we fantastic. were we were going out uh, into Thetford to do shopping, oh, yeah. and because it was a Saturday morning, we thought we'd set off early, get parked because uh, yeah. it's market day in Thetford on Saturday, and it was a misty morning. And you know that lovely picture, Monica the Glen. Yeah. We actually saw that in reality this beautiful stag yeah. literally bounded out in front of the car and I had to anchor up and it just stood there proudly kind of staring down at us and of course where was the camera in the boot <laughs> it's interesting actually when, when I was uh, uh, Christmas Eve 1967 I was working late term uh, in an office on the railway station at Cambridge and we were living at Padnell out in the Fens mm. and um, no 66 I think not 67 67 we'd moved to Cambridge so it's 66 and uh, the children were then uh, Gary would be five and Tina would be four and I came down the road about I don't know half past eleven and I came down the road from Ely out towards uh, the Fen where we lived towards uh, Prickwillow and running down the middle of the road away from me was a deer oh. mm. uh, and when I got home Bet said that the kids wouldn't go to sleep so I went upstairs and I sat because they shared a bedroom then, and I sat down and I said do you know what I've just seen I said no and I said I have just come home I said and I have just seen one of Santa Claus's reindeers Mm. And uh, <laughs> they they were asleep in two minutes. So mm. they <laughs> decided to that perhaps a good idea, but just shut up and go to sleep. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> mornings, nine Christmas mornings. Eighty four, eighty five, eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine, ninety one, ninety ninety one, ninety two. And uh, this thing I've used every Christmas morning since I 
uh, started to present. Why don't you think you'll be doing any more? Well, I think nine Christmases they'll probably feel they want to change, you know, they want somebody else to oh, do it. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, there you are. This thing... No, they'll want you. <laughs> <laughs> this thing was done by one of the PAs who worked here. And um, I've used it every Christmas morning. You'll like it. Teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Many 
minute and three quarters to go. You know what Reggie Bowes and Kate said? We say, vroom, vroom. <laughs> It is at this point that you begin to feel sick and realise you want to go to the toilet. <laughs> But you ain't going to either, because so you ain't got time. Oh dear. Thanks for being with me for the last couple of hours. I do hope you've enjoyed the music and the memories, and I'll see you all again next week. 20 seconds to go. Same time. Till then, from me, Trevor Little Child, good night. God bless. <coughs> 10 seconds. over 35 or undergoing medication should consult their doctor Too late to turn back now. to the next three hours. Here's Richard Spindler. When this, this record's finished, I shall start and put the sort of menu out for the programme. Yeah, sure. You want the music louder in here? Great. Going, all the phones going. tonight's proceedings here on the BBC in the greater part of the Eastern Counties and indeed on BBC Radio Kent. Hello, good evening and welcome. I'm Richard Spender with you until midnight with those indefatigable and delectable ladies of the evening taking your calls even as we speak and by Joe they are as well on 0223 25 2000, that telephone number again, 0223 25 2000 unless you happen to have not called the show before. If you've never called the show before there is a first time caller number and it is 0223 So those two telephone numbers again then. For those who have called us before, 0223 25 2000. And those who have never called us before, they get a first time line and that little bit of extra priority as you might say on that particular line. 0223 Well, I don't know. First of all, let me say thank you very much to the good people of Histon who made us so welcome at the garden party this afternoon. at had a marvellous time and I trust that they did fairly well out of it. Thank you also, all of you, for the letters and the stamps for the return postage, and thank you sending for the, thanks for sending for the photographs and for the tapes. 
and I should also say that tape number three, in case you were getting worried about it, is being distributed this weekend. There was a delay with the printing, but anyway, tape number three is being distributed this weekend, so I would also remind you if you want one, they are now available. Um, I would also uh, remind you that um, last week we opened the bidding on the Friday Fling Night, which uh, is taking place on Friday the 30th of July at the St Ivo Centre in St Ives. You may be interested to know, or indeed may not be interested to know, that two-thirds of the tickets have gone. So, again, uh, I'll give you details of it just now, and then I'll give you details again later on. Get your, t uh, get your uh, pencil and paper out, and I'll give you the telephone number. I'll tell you what I'll do to give you a chance to get a uh, paper and pencil. I'll play another record, and then after that I shall give you details of this night out. And if you want one of those tickets, I think 200 of the 300 have already been sold, so you'll have to get on the phone tonight, I would respectfully suggest, or tomorrow, because I think by the end of this weekend it'll be fairly well subscribed. Anyway, while you go away and get a piece of paper and a pencil, is there anything I need to do before I play the next piece of music? No. 0223 25 2000. But if you've never called us before, 0223 6 33 1. Details of the Friday Fling then. The fourth Friday Fling will take place on Friday the 30th of July from 7.30pm until 11pm at the St Ivo Centre St Ives. And those of you who went last year will know that we have a fairly good time. They'll be dancing to a live band, Rhythm and Rhapsody, an excellent band. Plenty of tables and plenty of seats for everybody. There will be light refreshments available to be purchased in addition, of course, to the licensed bar. And there will be table service, I think, by waiters. The managing editor of Radio Cambridge. She usually graces the occasion with a presence and she hopes to be with us again this year, all being well. All the managing editors equally welcome, if they would like to come. Usual fun and frolics, of course. Spenlow will be making a fool of himself, as is his custom, and he will be attended upon, as usual, by his delectable ladies of the evening, and no doubt members of his family will be there to keep him in order as well. Tickets are £4 a person, and entry is strictly by ticket only, and there will be buses laid on again, which this year include one from BBC Three Counties Land and more of that when the BBC uh, Three Counties join us. Uh, all profits this year were passed to the Royal National Institute for the Blind. You remember last year we sent uh, about £800 to Great Ormond Street Hospital. This year it's going to the RNIB. Further details available now at this moment on 0353 740062 until midnight. And don't forget there is only a limited number and it has to be first come first served. And as I said earlier on, about two thirds of them have spoken for already. So that telephone number, you want to be ringing now if you'd like to come with us, and we'd be delighted to see you. 0353 740062. Can I please ask that you don't write to me about it, because I don't have control of the tickets. They have to be kept in one central place, and it has to be via that telephone number, the initial inquiry, 0353 740062. And when you're on the phone, can I ask you to be as brief as possible with your phone call, because I rather suspect that there might be one or two other people who want to get through tonight as well. That number again then, 0353740062. Can I say, uh, <clears throat> so far as uh, having a natter tonight is concerned, it just occurred to me, the year 1953, Tito, elected president of Yugoslavia. Derek Bentley was hanged for a murder committed by somebody else while Bentley himself was under arrest and in custody. Walt Disney's film Peter Pan was released. Khrushchev became the first secretary of the Communist Party. Hammarskjöld became Secretary General of the United Nations. Japan had self-government restored. Uh, Jacqueline Bouvier became engaged to John Kennedy, which puts us all in a place as far as our ages are concerned, I would respectfully suggest. The Shah of Iran was restored to power. Queen Mary, the old Queen Mother and widow of George V, died. 
Everest was conquered and Queen Elizabeth II was crowned on June the 2nd, as we all know. Now then, what I'd like to hear from you tonight are your memories of 1953, in particular your memories of where and under what circumstances you either saw or heard the coronation. And if you can't remember that far back, or are sufficient of a senior citizen to remember further back, what was your special year and why? And for that matter, anything else that you'd like to bring up as well, we'll show it all in the pot. But that's for openness tonight, so give us a call about any of those things if, uh, if you'd like to do, and particularly if 1953 was not a special year for you, and if you have no mem memories of the coronation, then what was your special year and why? 0223 25 2000 gets you through to one of my delicious ladies of the evening, if you have called us before, but if you've never called the show before, 0223 6331 gets you through to my other equally delicious lady of the evening. In the meantime, Neil Sadaka will entertain us. <laughs> But since you've grown up, your future goes sewn up From now on, you're gonna be in my home Would you please send greetings and best wishes on Saturday, June the 5th to Ina and her grandson of Somersham who both celebrate their birthday on Sunday, June the 6th. It will be a pleasure. Happy birthday, happy 21st birthday to Gemma White in Stevenage. Her boyfriend Mark has asked her to tune in specially as he wants to remind her that he loves her. So he loves you, my puppet. Get well soon to John Patrick in Hartford. His wife says hurry up and get better so that you can take the terrible twosome off my hands for a while. And the message, I love you. Well, you can't say fairer than that, can you? And another one here, what does this say? From Clements Lane, Haverhill, would you please... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait a minute. I am told that you are coming to Haverhill next Tuesday to the old independent church. If you are, will you please mention it on Saturday night, please? Yes, I will mention it, in fact, and I am at the old independent church on Tuesday night. I think it's the Royal British Legion. I look forward to that. And indeed, uh, at another Royal British Legion, uh, to Biggleswade on the Wednesday night. So it looks like being a busy week. 0223 25 2000 if you have called us before, 0223 633 if you've not called us before, and if you want to uh, uh, spend that night with us Friday the 30th of July with us at Flynn, then the telephone number is 0353 740062. And the next... Number one, side two, number four. The... Uh, Nine sixteen here on the BBC in the Eastern Counties and indeed on BBC Radio Kent. Richard spend up with you until midnight and delighted so to be. Those telephone numbers again 0223 25 2000 and 0223 633 Happy birthday to my second cousin Brenda Rogers of Girton and today uh, 65 apparently. Lots of love from Gladys. And another one here to my mum Yvonne Brewer. Happy birthday for June the 10th. Apparently she's going to be <coughs> years old. Lots of love from son Nigel. Right. I'm going to play uh, the first record tonight, actually, or the, the next record in actual fact. Uh, I've just been, uh, it's just been reminded that uh, the fellow who sang this one uh, died this week, rather sadly. So let's sort of call this a tribute to him. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> you got what it takes. Thank you. 
Now the late Marv Johnson and You Got What It Takes from I think early 1960 or very late in 1959. I can't just remember now. It's just after I came back from Aiden, I think. A letter here, a nice letter from uh, Eileen Jeffrey of Devon Road, Colchester. Uh, she said, I go to bed at nine o'clock and listen in comfort until midnight. I collect thimbles and wonder if any of your other listeners do. I now have 472, all different. Right, do we have a, a thimble collector out there who can beat 472? I should be interested to know if there are. Could you please dedicate your next record to Brenda Clark in Greenstead Estate, Colchester from Eileen Jeffrey. Her son and daughter-in-law and grandsons are on holiday and I know that she will be missing them, but we are thinking of her. And she also very kindly sends best wishes not only to me, but also to my delectable ladies of the evening. Who, as I say, await your call next door when you can get to... Ah! As I speak, there is a spare line on 0223 25 2000. <laughs> saying that he said one of the most disturbing things about getting old was the fact that so many of your friends seem to be falling off the perch. <laughs> it's very true. Which is very true. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I buried army mate. Yes, I heard you talking about that. Very that sadly. Very sad, yes. See, this is the late Eddie Cochran, the next one is the late Rick Mills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. here to Louise Pryor's now in Kent. Lots of love from Louise and from Gary. What a thing. Who are they? Lovely tranquil voice I've got. First time caller, Rosina rang to say that you have a lovely tranquil voice. Oh. And what a lovely program. Oh. They send her a small check. That's right. Johnny Ray there. <laughs> Nearly cutting me out in yesternight. 
Josephine. Would you please play a record or mention on Saturday, June the 5th, my parents, Joyce and Jimmy Aikman of Chelmsford in Essex. They have their birthdays on May the 30th and June the 5th. Will you please tell them that he comes with uh, lots of love from daughter Pam. Very pretty picture of the Red Lion, High Street in Whitton. Looks very nice as well. Let's go and see what their beer tastes like, or rather more of uh, their gin and tonics. A first time caller by the name of Rosina has made very nice remarks about the show and about me. Bless your heart, I'll send you a small cheque. Thank you very much indeed. Noted. Please dedicate a, a record to husband Roger at Whitemore. All our love from Joy, Vicky, Tracy and from Colin. And one here that says to uh, Pat in Stradishall, the message is, Hello Blue Eyes, you were wonderful on Friday. Love you with all of me from Y Dizzy. Right, well we're not doing too bad. I'll just remind you of those telephone numbers again. 0223 25 2000 uh, if you have called us before. And 0223 633 if you have not called us before. What was I going to do next? I think I was going to do this. Yes. Open the morning and up. The teacher is teaching the golden rules. American history and practical man. You study him hard and open the pan. Working your fingers right down to the bone. That's the guy behind you won't leave you alone. Um. Ring, ring goes the bell. See, we put a lot of music in the first hour, because if we don't, we don't get, you know, we, because yeah. a lot of people come on after that. Yeah, once and you start uh, the conversation again. The going. question is satisfying yeah. everybody, really. Yeah. We're trying to. And usually it's failing. One, two, three, four, That's a trace, so we'll do that after Bedfordshire comes on. That's a trace. What's a trace? Oh, I see. Someone looking for someone. Yeah. Sorry? Somebody looking for someone, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Radio Kent. We're going to start lifting you on before long, in a little while now, on 0223-25-2000, uh, to have a natter about whatever. I don't know all those things. Uh, I don't know one or two things. I, I particularly want to know your memories of how uh, you either saw or heard the coronation. But as I said also, if you are younger than that and can't remember it, or indeed a more senior citizen and can remember other years, what was your special year? I want to know about that, if you will, tonight. Um, let's do some reminiscing, if we can. I w oh, this uh, letter comes from Mavis Stratford of uh, Wellesley Road, Wellesley Road, I should say, Great Yarmouth in Norfolk. Would like you to send my love to my brother and his wife Victor and Jean Dealey of Benchley's Road, Boxmoor, Hemel Hempstead in Hertfordshire. It will be my pleasure so to do. Apparently, uh, they introduced you to the programme. Well, I'm delighted about that. We shall send them a small cheque as well. That's Domino and be my guest at 9.34. <laughs> That's Domino, and to be my guest. All the wine club hope to see Mr and Mrs Grattan from Kent at the Friday Fleet this July. Yes, and so do we as well. Now, let me just tell you, yes, particularly, yes, don't forget to come to the Friday Fleet. What have we got here? Steve Thacker has uh, written to me a long, long letter from Eastfield Road, Peterborough. But essentially it says, uh, it would be nice if I could get in touch with two friends from college who I have not seen for over six years. I am not sure that you do this kind of a service. They are Sharon Spencer from Croydon and Michelle Manthorpe from Lowestoft. They were both... Good. No, not at the moment. I don't know. Yes, yes. Maybe I'll give yes. you a good evening. No, they'll go on that. It's just the, it's just the standard. have the address and the prices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, and what's your telephone number, Monica? Right, well if you write the if you write your name and address Thing. and you send okay. that there, okay, mm -hmm. with a check or postal order and then Yeah we do. You you're yes, not too sure what it is now? 
That's right. Right. Okay. Okay then, Monica. Well, actually, you do if you're going to speak then. to Richard, you can uh, ask you do him that to speak to him. Okay, Monica, yeah. speak to your lady. Okie dokie, you won't be too long. Yeah. Alright, what I'll do, I'll put you on hold, <laughs> and you know how it goes. He'll speak to you in a minute. Right. Okay. Alright, right. right. hold on just a long. second. Just want to hold on. Yeah. Alright then. Keep hold of their phone. Don't put it down. Alright then. Bye. Yeah. Normally, Brenda, apparently you normally speak to Brenda. She's in a wheelchair and she said that normally you give her an off idea of what time you'll call her back. Okay. When? Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Hang on one second and I'll take your dress. Tell her. Tell her. Hello, okay, Brenda. Hello. Joanne said that she'll do her best for 10 o'clock. Oh, very nice. Yes. What's your address? Okay then, Brenda. It does. Okay, Brenda. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, have you been on before? We have, haven't you? Now then. Yeah, right. What's your, what's your phone number, Daphne? Yeah. Anything in particular you want to talk about, or...? Hello, Mickey. Okay, it's Radio Cambridge. I'll put you on hold, okay? Hi. Hello. Hello. Right. Okay, what's your name then? Dress. Walters there. Hello, Walter. Do you want a photo? I'll put, I'll put you on hold, you okay. Alright then, will you write to us for the tape, okay? Alright then. Okay then. Alright. Radio Cambridge, good evening. We'll send you the photo. Yes, right it on. is. Alright then. Did you want to speak to him? Yeah, well, did you, you did. have to send have you to him tape before? Separately? What's your phone number? Yeah. She will do, yeah. Tell her it's exactly the same thing, but oh, two, she five, has to write five. and ask for take number two. Okay. All right, then. Two, Bye. Bye. And you. And that's Bye. Clinton. And your name, Christian Radio name. Radio Cambridgeshire. Okay, then, Jack. So the phone number once more is 0255-425-956. I'll speak to you later, Jack. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm your address. Radio Cambridge, good evening. W-I-N-F-O-L-D, Did you want to speak yep. to Richard? Yep. Oh, hello, Monica. What's your phone number again? 0536. P per C-R. Right. OK, then. Thanks a lot. Right. Bye. Right. That's it. And you were calling from Kettering. Radio Cambridge. OK, then, Monica. Joanne. We will call you back later on. Oh, hello. Fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. I just said, how are you? Yeah. You didn't answer me. Good. Mm -hmm. And you want this for are tomorrow, you? do you? Uh, what? Oh, what for tomorrow night? No. Oh, right. right. Uh, but you wanted to speak to In Richard aid tonight, of... didn't you? All right, so let's, we'll, we'll, I'll do the dedication yeah. now, and then we can get that all sorted out for tomorrow. Right, Tony Stetchworth, so and what's your phone number? That's OK. So it's, and it's a wedding anniversary, isn't it? So it's happy wedding you anniversary. You're meant to keep it practice, you know. Did you say it's your daughter, your granddaughter? Oh. Oh, well, that's not fair. Well, you know, we have to have our yeah. breaks, don't we? Uh, well, no, it's not been that long. Yeah. No, it hasn't. Right, there you go. See, so you, you haven't been listening properly or phoning. Yeah. No. See, you haven't been lucky enough. That's all it's been. Okay. But never mind, Tony. Uh, yes, you can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what You're I will do tonight, Monica, I will take this home. I know. I'll home, call you back later. And I, I will take all this right, one Tony. home. Bye. And I will bring it back in with me tomorrow. Bye, okay, Michelle. And she what? turns round, look. <laughs> you little devil. Uh, uh, they are yeah?
over his wedding tape. He forgot and left it in the machine and pulled it over the wedding tape. Reef, no. Radio Cambridgeshire. Hello. Um, not on this program, yeah. no. No, we haven't. And um, what's that concern? Mm. Yeah. No, normally we have um, n normally those. That's actually you know the um, the request program, which is sort of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. And so, what time did you get up to London? Right. What's your that's name? That's right. What's your first? Oh, mm. John. Yes, but as a. Where are you calling from, John? Mm. Yes, he is, isn't he? Have you been on before? You see, as I say, normally, I mean, R Richard does have to sort of keep, you know, to, to a certain format on this programme. If you'd have wanted sort of Daniel O'Donnell, you would have had to sort of phone yeah, in, or should I say, written into the request programme as you like it, you see. I'll give you a call back then. No, I remember she wanted to have the hood up. Yes, absolutely lovely. Lovely lady. I'll do that now. OK, then. Get that all out of the way. Yes, go on, go on, go on. Ah. Well, I'm sure he probably is. What's your surname, John? Is he? And your address? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, so he's your toy boy then, this Danny Lodonna. Yeah. Yeah. Jill Tarbot of Ringlestone. All right, keep in touch. Oh, right. Okay, then. Bye. <laughs> You do get right, them. well to do, to do that, uh, oh, to do the the <laughs> well, um, I have got the address, it's £1.50 for the phone. Radio Cambridge, good evening. CB2, 5 and 6. Oh. Right then, Joe, so the telephone number again is 572. I'll call you back, oh, no, speak to Richard. Okay, then. Alright then. Well, I'll call you back later on, Joe. Bye bye for now, bye. Um, I can make it after 10 if you... Yeah, I'll give you a call now, okay? I'll leave you to it then, girls. Hello. <laughs> should be at exactly 10 o'clock. It says here. It says here. <laughs> <laughs> it says here.
Where are you coming from, Where are you calling from? Spencer on sex. Oh, yeah. And the baby. Is it not before? Yes. Um, okay then, Josie. Bye Hello, good evening, and welcome to Doris at Needham Market. Hello, how are you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Yes, quite. Yes, yeah. Only 50 now. Yeah. 80 this year, are you? Yes. Mm -hmm. not, a, not, I think, a need of market accent. A uh, London, all right. Did you? souvenirs, aren't they? What I'll do, I'll put you back now. Yes, you can. Alright, my sugar. <laughs> Alright, my puppy. Stay, stay where you are, won't you? Don't put your phone down. My lady will come to you now. No, no, I'll pop it. Right, we'll just do that with that one and say hello, good evening and welcome. Oh, another Doris of Onga, new caller, most welcome. Hello, my sugar, how are you? Well, I better fool myself on one, yes. Yeah, we know Ross. Yes, he is as well. <laughs> you good old boy, Rossy. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I'd you like to talk to you and ring me again? No, no, sweet, no, right. Right, let me clear that line down there. 0223 25 2000 if you want to get through to the show. And uh, 0223 61311 if you want to take part in the competition, for which the question is, who is the father of the RAF? And the prize, family tickets to the RAF Holton Show on Saturday the 19th of June. Right, I think before we do any further, I'm going to just um, play a little bit of a musical tribute here. Uh, because, of course, as some of you will know who have watched the television today, um, Conway Twitty died today at the age of 59, which, <coughs> again, brings it back how old we're all getting. Anyway, he died today, and uh, I thought that probably we'd play two of his records, one straight after the other, uh, which would highlight probably his versatility so far as tempo were concerned. Both beautiful records, both hits here, both, I think, hits in 1958. This one, uh, the first one, the fast one. Well, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, man, I think you You're so like the lady with a mystic smile Is it only cause you're lonely they have named you? For that Mona Lisa strain is in your smile Well, is it your smile to tempt the lover? 
Yep. Lovely record, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. 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 Monday to Eileen, who, incidentally, I uh, just to remind you that Conway Twitty in fact sadly died today. Uh, happy birthday on Monday to Eileen Paul of Fundon Hall and Beryl. We're all pushed into this tiny room and all the farmers, etc., at the front of the television. Mm -hmm. He was stood at the back. Right. Mm -hmm. Did they? Was it? I am trying to trace Frank Bennett. He came from Newtown Hamilton in Northern Ireland uh, for old times sake. So if you can... I'm really proud to think that my well, actually spoke to me. I'll call you back then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
Bless your heart. All right, my pocket wallet's up to press on. Yeah, this dirty great big Rolls Royce Scammel. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, he was up top with a half a can of diesel, and I was down below underneath with a half a can of diesel. And you can just guess what happened. <laughs> Name's up a diesel. I think so as well. Because I come to a high heaven. Anyway, I was wondering whether there's any more per, uh, of your listeners out there that might have remembered the uh, coronation on parade on the uh, Padang in Singapore, because I finished up uh, marching around that for about two hours with a rifle at the slope. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yes, yeah, quite. And, um, you know, I sort of wondered if they might be... If, if, there, if there's anybody who rings in, Mick, can we give them your telephone number? Well, it's most interesting. Do keep in touch and please ring me again. All right, my lad. I'd tell her hello to what's her name? Hello, Margaret. Bless your heart. Thank you for letting him use the phone. <laughs> She's probably going to get you a drink now if you smile at me. I don't blame you. I'll still have one lined up in about another 90 minutes. All right, my boy. Keep in touch. Do ring again. There you are. You see Mick from Tunbridge. 0223 25 2000 if you want to get through to the show. 0223 6331 if you want to take part in the competition. For which the question is, who was the father of the RAF? And the prize family tickets to uh, to the RAF Holton show outside Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. We'd better skip on now, I think, here and say hello, good evening and welcome to Stan in Frinton-on-Sea. Hello, Richard. Most welcome you are as well, sir. Greetings from Frinton-on-Sea. Thank you very much indeed. What a nice way of putting it. Richard, we always, uh, uh, when we come in from the grueling council meeting, any time till about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, we always ring, uh, we always uh, tune in to you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, it's a great relief to us to relax with you for such a, you know, even for a short bit. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Yes, we do enjoy it indeed. My wife and I are both councillors. And uh, you can imagine what it's like. You know, uh, 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 with everybody chatting and talking for hours on it. Yeah. Nagging at each other. Yeah. And falling out. <laughs> what, I, what I really want to do is make a comment about our in Holton. Yeah, go on. Um, I was at Holton in uh, at least 46. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, Brian Ricks, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They used to lead us. Really marvellous place, Holton. And I have got some wonderful memories of Holton, actually, in the RES. You'll have to go and have a look at that show, my boy. Oh, yes. I, I, yes. Double one. No, six double three double one. So that's O two two say it to me, what what have you got? No, O two two three. Yeah. That'll find it. Have a go then. <laughs> yeah, okay, well fair, fair enough. I you know, I wish you as well with the competition as anybody else. But I mean if you don't win I'm going to have a look at it, it's well worth a look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, quite. Quite, quite yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good old boy, I'm glad you helped. Where's that? No, no. Come <laughs> 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 uh, No, you want 0223. No. Okay then. I'll wait for you. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Pace, who ran a school, used to say to my mother, we 
Sick really. Yeah, okay. okay then. One more. These two ladies came upstairs. No. Okay. <laughs> right. Thanks so much then. Bye. Right. Uh, okay then, Neil. Can we have a look at on when we get the television sets that show the... We're not in... <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't pay for me to have one at home. I mean, the, I show my expressions too much. We wish you well, both of you. and I used to have salad cream on them and just everything used to have salad cream on them just while you were pregnant yeah. oh, everything oh, my daughter I had apple pie why not I had salad cream on good them? great mint sauce with everything mm. well, my mum was salad cream not just while she was pregnant but all the time mm. I had salad cream on apple pie and the other one had oh, so tomato sauce on it dreadful <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, people yeah, used to sort of sit there and go, oh, God, we're not sitting next to Tina again, oh, are no. And I used to say, oh, stop it, you know, I said, I'm pregnant, you know, I'm a bit of understanding, you know. A bit of salad cream with absolutely everything. Roast dinners, my breakfast is there, I used to sort of have egg and bacon or something at breakfast. What, we mix the salad cream? <clears throat> no, I, I, did, I did have salad cream on, <clears throat> on apple pie, and I also used to have salad cream on um, Manchester tart. Work. You know, Manchester tart, yeah. it's a thin oh. paste, isn't it? Then jam and then blancmange with desiccated coconut on top. Ooh. And I used to have salad cream on top of that. Okay, hold on. Are you where's Okay, then. K-E-N-T. K-E-N-T. Okay, then, Brenda. Oh, okay then, Brenda. Bye. You was asked if she was asked if she knew how to spell what? Just Close. Knows. Oh, well, I've just been told Kent. Maidstone, oh, Kent. Say... <laughs> you stay where you are, my lady. Will I am not talking to anybody. Don't put your phone down. Radio Cambridge, sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Not too bad. She disqualified from listening for three months, starting now. Tell her she's got to switch the wireless off straight away. Oh, and what do you think you're right or wrong? She'll come and take details now. Huh? <laughs> well, you are wrong. <laughs> now then, Belle, what's the name? Right, you're on the photo. And what's the details? Right, I'll tell that's you the name to yeah. the photo on the card that I went on the car. What's that? <laughs> you mean for chocolate? Five, I don't know. Jay. <laughs> Yes, it is, yes. Yes, what's the answer? 
I've spoken about Hello, it with many Ivor. people who have been in shows for help. years. I used to have a program where you right, thanks, bye. Them. And uh, they, you know, there's, there's always right, this yeah, business you think about evening. show business. All you, you hear about are the divorces yeah. and the scandals and all this. But you yes, don't yes, hear sure about the, the hockeridges of this world. Oh. You don't hear about the, the Brian Forbes and the Nanette Newmans of this world. Good. Um, uh, 30 what? and 40 Is years married. Uh, and, and, and that sort of thing. You don't hear oh. about the Brian Rixes of this world and the Leslie Crowthers of this world. Five, two, three, because nine, they, they, eight, there is two. no scandal. So therefore, don't hear about uh, it's, only the, it's only oh. the scandal. So, so seven, so nine, the nine. Uh, try to, uh, yeah, you know, five, the, two, three, the, the nine, eight, two. Okay then. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. I agree with you entirely. I agree. All right, well, I think right. she's very attractive for her age. Yes, go on.
My listeners have been very good to me indeed. I see. And where, where did you say you'd come from on the on, on, on the A12? Yeah. Well, it's nice to talk to you, and uh, I'm very pleased you've decided to ring me after all. Give me a ring again. We sh we shall look for and uh, when you're making them journeys down the A12, you make sure they're safe journeys. Indeed. All right, I have as well. She's called my wife. <laughs> all right, my sugar, keep in touch. No night, no night. We are now creeping towards <coughs> gin and tonic time. <laughs> so we do that. And we do that. We've got three minutes to go. It's a lovely bit of music. How did you come to choose this bit of music, Richard, to I end your program? I chose it the first night, and I've played it every night mm, since. Glorious, isn't it?
Two minutes and 20 seconds left. Two minutes, we start saying the nine eyes. Three Counties Radio join us at 10 o'clock and of course next Sunday night, God willing again it'll be the mixtures tonight so until we're together again on one of those occasions whichever you choose, thank you very much indeed and uh, I look forward to your company again very shortly and as I always say at about this time of night if you happen to be listening on your own then a very special and a very personal good night to you from me and uh, all the luck in the world Helen for that driving test on Tuesday which we're thinking about you and uh, let us know what happens anyway again if you're listening on your own a very special and a very personal good night to you from me until we're together again. Now, night, God bless. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. Additional music, no? Okay, we should have to put yes. another one on. Bob's your uncle, Charlie's your aunt. Right. Coming.